Hey, this is Victor Antonio, and welcome to my 7x7x7 seven by seven by seven series. Seven ways of things you can do in seven days, and I'm going to show you this in seven minutes. Today's topic is how to learn. In other words, how can we get more information in our brain? Step number one, encoding. You have to pick your channel. What do I mean by that? We all learn differently. Some people can read and retain a lot of information. That's not me. Some people can watch videos. That's me and learn a lot. Or some people listen to audio like podcasts and learn. So pick the channel where you believe you absorb and retain the most information. That's a good way to learn. Number two, I use something called bubble maps. Basically, I grab a blank sheet of paper and as I'm listening to something, I just try, start drawing out the concepts, right? If they mention a concept, I write it out and I put a little circle around it, a bubble. And then what happens is I usually have a sheet that's filled up with a bunch of bubbles and then I'm able to connect those bubbles to kind of really understand the concept they're trying to deliver. Number three, Take notes. Now, there's two ways of taking notes. One is you can write in the book or do what I do as well. If I don't use bubble mapping, sometimes what I'll do is I'll get a stack of index cards and write a key concept on each index card. At the end of that podcast or that video, what I'll do is I'll actually review these cards, almost like flashcards, and just to kind of really see if I understand what I read and did I really understand the concept. Number four consolidate. Now, this is interesting. Pay attention. When you read stuff, hear stuff, see stuff, you've taken bubble map notes, right? You've taken, uh, you've done notes on the index card. Now, consolidate means now tell it in your own way. Like explain the content in your own way. So if you hear something, tell yourself a story. Now, how would I explain that to myself? And then you tell yourself a story. Maybe use an example. Maybe use your own analogy or a metaphor. Whatever you need, that helps you consolidate the information. In other words, absorbing or encoding the information is one thing. By consolidating, you, what you're doing is saying, how, how would I say that? How would I think about that? What analogy could I use? And that allows you to grab the content faster. Number five, after you consolidate, sometimes you just have to sit there and marinate on this idea. In other words, you got a concept in your head, and then you reflect on it. Reflecting basically means you think about the thought. In other words, how does that apply to other things? How could I apply it in my daily life? It's one of those moments where you just sit quietly and just think about the concept. Try not to have more than one concept at a time that you're reflecting on. Pick one and say, let's think about this concept a little bit and take some time to reflect. Number six, I want you to like wait a week and then try to remember that concept. For example, let's say that you're trying to remember it. I'm being very simplistic here. You're trying to remember a quote, right? Memorize the quote, consolidate it in your head by saying, hmm, here's what I would use the quote. Here's why I think I would implement the quote or here's why I think I would mention the quote. And then a week later, ask yourself, now, what was that quote? By forcing yourself to retrieve the information a week later, you begin to hard code that information into your head. So in other words, when you learn something, give it some time and then retrieve the information again. Do this several times. And every time you do it, it becomes hardwired in your brain and move from short term to long term memory. Number seven, sometimes to see if you really understand the concept, try to explain it to somebody. So if you learn something, try to explain it to somebody. Try to see if, you know, again, if, if you can actually verbalize it in your words. Explain it your way. Sometimes it sounds so good in your head. You ever have that? You read a book or you hear something and you explain it in your head. Sounds good up there. But as soon as you verbalize it, you're like, hmm, I didn't know it as well as I thought I knew it. So one of the advantages of explaining is it allows you to calibrate what you really understand and what yet you have yet to understand. So that's it. Seven ways that you can practice something over the next seven days and get better at learning. This is Victor Antonio with another 7 by 7 series reminding you, learning ain't hard when you know how. Take care. 